April 24th, 2023. How's it going, guys? We're in Kansas City, right here in Independence, Missouri. <laughs> and the sirens are already going this morning. I'm going to show that here in a couple minutes. I was coming back down on a 40 highway here, and something caught my eye up here this morning at Big Boys. Now, you know how I am about these people that drive around with no license plates, expired temp tags, no tags at all? Well, yeah, because I have to pay car insurance, I have to pay taxes, and everybody, there's lots of other people do too. I notice when I've been, uh, I go to the zoo most of the time, most of the vehicles at the zoo, most of them, have license plates that are current and up to date on them. And I just find that odd. Now, when I go up to, when I go over to like a mirror star, me and my son, when we go up to the casino up there, now that's a little bit different. I'll see tags that have expired, Tim tags, no, no license. I seen, actually, we were there this weekend and there was a, a car there with expired tip tag on it from 22 for the beginning. How could you go that long and not, you know? So all these vehicles might not even be able to be registered. I mean, they might not even have the titles to them, say. I mean, these car lots of, here we go back to those car lots again, between the car lots and the drug dealing and everything else. These car lots, these cars that they've sold these people might not even, they might not even have the titles to these cars. That's something that needs to be checked. But getting on with this, there's a vehicle at the top of the hill up here in Independence, Missouri. Independence, Missouri, top of the hill, Chrysler 47th Street at this uh, duplex. And this vehicle, on top of it, not having any license plates on it, okay? It's got a $39.95 in the window of it. Okay, guys? Well, I noticed a few weeks back, after I had posted something about this, another vehicle popped up with a like a pup-like little trailer behind it. And it was sitting up there. Also, the black gentleman that was driving this vehicle... There's some, the last time I seen there was a biker, white biker guy driving it. Same place, same location. And that area up there is a troubled area anyway up there, those rental duplexes up there. And then there's one house up there, about 15, looks like 15 cars, 15 people live in. One of them at the very top where Independence and Kansas City, Missouri change over up there. So, it's kind of strange, but this morning, when I was coming back, before I show all the fire trucks and all everything else, I noticed that Big Boys, this vehicle was sitting, sitting across the street from 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, in Big Boys parking lot. I just, I don't know, it, it's something wrong here, guys. So I'm going to show that, and then I'm going to show all the bells and whistles, all the lights going off over here off 46th Street here in Independence, Missouri, guys. So hold on. Oh, and hold on. I'll show that vehicle one more time, too. That it's been going around like this for two years, and they, I, it, you know, and why, why, you know, what I don't get is how, how are they getting away with this? And also, like I say, I've been out to Independence several times, a co-violation too, and reported this. This, this isn't like they're sneaking in and out. There's something else going on here, so hold on, guys. Okay, now there's that vehicle that sits up at that duplex at the top of the hill here. No license place on that. I, it just went down a last week and it still didn't have no license plates on it but hold on okay guys i'm back and i'm coming back out on 40 highway and there's our 7-eleven conico but then i go swing over here to big boys now that's not on the street that's 
in Big Boy's parking lot. Let's see if I can get this a little bit closer. And it's just sitting there. Now, that's the same vehicle. It's been sitting up there, too. Hmm. So that's kind of a distinct kind of little trailer. And I just thought that was kind of strange. I don't know. Very strange. Just another thing. And and then, I mean, Big Boys isn't open. I mean, they're not open. Uh, I mean, it's it was about 8 o'clock in the morning here. I don't, I don't think they open that early. I, don't, I know they don't serve breakfast. I don't think they open until like about 10.30 or something or 10 or something at the, at the earliest. Very strange. Very, very strange. I don't know. So, so let's go ahead and check this out, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm back. And there they are. Now this is off Willis. This is 46th Street up there. A lot of stuff goes on over there off uh, Willis in that area. Just amazes me. I mean, how many calls and how many things just in this a few block radius. And what even gets to me more about this, hold on, guys. What I would say, what gets to me more is we've even, in this last weekend, had more people move into these houses out here. And it's unreal. I mean, these are two and three bedroom houses. And it just blows my mind that how many people i mean you got eight people one 11 people in the other one that's insane mm. that's insane i mean they need to put some kind of restriction or something on this stuff out here they need independence needs to hunker down on some of this stuff supposedly there is and they said they couldn't force i don't buy all that it's on the books, and it should be able to be enforced. Now, there's no reason why that that many people, I mean, that, you know, that thing that happened a couple, two years ago, it's done and gone. So, uh, there's something that's not right here. This is just causing more and more chaos over here. I don't know. But that's just, that's crazy. Very, very strange. Well, anyway, guys, I, I'm not going to go back today and figure out exactly when the last time was. I Down the line, I'll take a glance and see. But, it, I mean, we don't make it more than a... If we make it four weeks, it, it's a miracle to make it four weeks without something going on over here. But most of the time, it's within just a matter of a week to two weeks continuous. And also in this neighborhood, there's not that many uh, elderly anymore. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, old people. Not saying who knows what this was. It probably was nothing. Like it always is. It's probably nothing. Oh, and I got one other thing to show you that's probably nothing. Hold on. Okay, guys, you're looking in front of my uh, house out there, my circular drive. But you're also looking at it. It's some guy holding a sign. Well, that sign he's got in his hand came from, looked like to me, like from a convenience store. Because he goes on down to the second house down here, and there's a drainage deal. He just leaves it there. It says something like snacks or something on it. But now this was Sunday morning. Yeah, wake up. Sunday morning. <laughs> this is what you got to look at here in Kansas City. In Independence, Missouri. Now, you know, I just don't get this. But hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Now, this guy, he's down at the other end of my driveway, okay? And there he's at the side. I'm going to swing over here, okay, a little bit, guys. 
Because I want to show you where he drops that sign at. There's a, a culvert right here. There's a fire hydrant. And there's a culvert. And then he just lays that sign on that culvert right there. And just goes on down the road. Interesting. Interesting. Hold on. Well, guys, I found the footage. GBD. So let's check this out. Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what happens. I can't get over these houses over here. I mean, we got people, I got people next door to me. I got people across the street. And there are just more people piling in. More people piling in. More people piling in. Nobody leaves. It isn't like somebody left and some, replaced somebody else. More people piling in. Oh, and I got videos of that, too. No doubt. Interesting, huh, guys? Anyway, this is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri. So keep your eyes open and uh, stay safe out there.